Yo, what's up gentlemen? If you're watching this video, then you want to know how to be more disciplined, how to consistently make progress, whether it's in your dating life, your career, your finances, your, your personal life, just like social circle. Um, just like you wanna know how to make progress. And um, if you're like me, then you probably have like ADHD or you were never really a good student. Um, or if you were and you're struggling now and you don't know why, then I'm gonna talk about why that is. If you don't know who I am, I'm Timothy Brazil. I'm the founder and owner of Understanding Attraction. And I used to be, fucking plane up there. I used to be like a massive procrastinator and I still am somewhat. But, you know, I dropped out of school twice, dropped out of like university or college, whatever, twice. Um, I, I was kind of a fuck up. <laughs> and I wanna talk about how I turned that into now I own my own business. I'm able to record two YouTube videos a day consistently ahead of time. I do all my work ahead of time. Um, I have, you know, the Facebook group that I link down below, post daily content. You know, I'm growing my business, I'm gonna hire employees this year. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm starting to level up and getting to the point of success. And I did all this without thinking I was really like a disciplined person. And I'm gonna talk about the mindset shift that I really made to get that progress for myself. And hopefully you can do the same thing uh, with my advice and like with my lessons I learned. So what's really happening when you self-sabotage? When you're sitting here watching this video and maybe you're watching on your computer and you're you know, scrolling on your phone at the same time and you're not actually paying attention like snap out of it for a second and, and really pay attention to this because when you're doing these behaviors, when you're self-sabotaging, what are you really doing? You're actually like committing a hate crime against your future self. <laughs> and like, that sounds really dramatic, but it is actually what you're doing. Imagine if there was someone, and you might even think there is someone because you might be stuck in this victim mindset but imagine there's someone that's constantly watching you, that's always over your shoulder, always making sure that your life is harder tomorrow than it was today. That is what is happening every single time you give in to instant gratification. Think about that, I'll say it again. Every time you give in to instant gratification, you are being that person looking over your shoulder, trying to ensure that your life is, is bullshit and that your life sucks and your life is harder the next day than it was before. That's what you're doing. When you have a diet you're on and you cheat on your diet when it's not a cheat day, right? You are making your life harder. You're telling yourself, ah, oh, I can deal with it later. You know, that future version of myself, that's not me right now. That guy's a fucking loser. He can deal with it, fuck that guy. No wonder you resent yourself. No wonder you're really struggling with self-hate, right? Because you're, you're actively hating yourself. You're committing like crimes against yourself. You're harassing yourself in the future. And so when you sit here and you think, and you're watching this video and you're like, man, me a day ago when I ate that whole package of cookies and I ate that whole bag of Doritos and I ate all those Cheetos and I drank all that beer and I feel like shit now because of it, Man, that guy's a fucking asshole. Why do you do that to me right now? And when you start delaying gratification, when you start surrounding yourself with a brotherhood that is pushing you to delay gratification, that you only do delayed gratification activities with, which is that's something that for me, my personal goal is to have that, like guys around me, a brotherhood or a tribe, whatever the fuck you wanna call it, that pushes me to do delayed gratification activities like hey bro you want to go to the gym hey bro let's go for a run hey bro let's let's do boxing let's do let's do bjj or like let's do something badass that's fun that's delayed gratification right when you choose that over this like weird party culture this weird like yeah man let's let's go out and like let's get fucking smashed every day let's like really, really do all this like really instant gratification stuff. Let's eat a bunch of cookies. Aw, oh, cause we're young and let's, let's make it, you know, it's like, dude, life gets worse as a man, as you get older, only because you chose to make it worse. 
I talk about this all the time on the channel, but men are built, they're not born. Men are made, and you need to make yourself every single day. Every day you don't build yourself. Every day you don't build yourself up to be more powerful, to be more grounded. Women will lose respect for you. You know, if you're watching this channel, you want to learn how to attract more women. And the reason that you've struggled for so long is because you don't respect yourself enough to delay gratification. What does the woman want? The woman wants a guy that can say, no, you can't come over at 11 p.m. and fuck me. No, you can't come over and suck my dick at 11 p.m. I'm going to bed. I have shit to do tomorrow. And says that with full confidence. And he's not saying it because it's a line or a tactic. Don't copy and paste that. You know, it might work once. But when she realizes that you just work at Jimmy John's, you don't have any ambition. You, you don't have any, like, any serious goals in your life. When she realizes that, she, she's going to be turned off. She's like, oh, this guy's a loser. And he's just acting like he's fucking awesome. Right? He's just acting like he's busy. He feels like he has to lie about who he is because he's so fucking depressed about his own life and he's so disappointed in himself. He doesn't love himself enough to delay gratification. And women want a man that stays disciplined, that stays grounded. I have another video on this channel about how to stay grounded with women. And it's one of the most powerful videos that I've posted because it shows you exactly what's happening and how to stay grounded around women. And this is part of it delaying gratification and cutting out self-sabotage because you respect yourself is so valuable, so important. And I was never someone that was disciplined. You know, I dropped out of school twice. I was never actually like on the path to being successful. I would always get 80% of the way to success. I played college basketball for one year. I played, um, I, I, you know, I was good at sports, but then I would quit. I was good at video games, then I would quit. Um, you know, I was, you know, almost pro in like a couple games and I quit, right? Or I was, you know, I could have grinded it out to try to be pro at least, you know, in a couple of video games and I quit. And it's no wonder because I was choosing to make my life harder the next day than it was like, than it was before, right? And what am I doing right now? I'm choosing to make my life better in the next couple days than it was uh, you know, today, right? Because I'm walking, I'm out here walking, I'm filming videos for you guys, I'm putting value out into the world, I'm working ahead because I'm gonna be posting twice a day on YouTube for the whole month, just as a challenge for myself. And I'm working ahead because I wanna make my life better later, okay? I'm gonna go back home after this video, I'm gonna film training for my clients inside of Attraction Accelerator. I have about eight trainings that I've made over the last week and a half, all slide decks of like 15, 20, 30 slides that explain the step-by-step -step processes of how to become a man that women are attracted to in the long run forever. And you know, that's how you get relationships of 30 plus years, the, the woman you're with, she's still sending you dirty texts, right? She's still sending you dirty pictures. She's still super turned on by you. She's, you know, you make her wet all the time just thinking about you. That's how you become that man, right? Just across the street. And that's the training I'm, I'm making for my clients, right? That's the training I'm making. And I'm not doing, I'm not saying that to like get you to join my program or whatever. Right now, I'm focused on building a business. I'm focused on my purpose and women are incredibly attracted to me because of that. I don't have to work to get women into me. I have a fiance. I don't have to work for my fiance to be super turned on by me. You know, I still go on dates because I record date audio for our clients. Those girls are super into me. They're super excited to meet me on dates because you know why? I make my life easier the next day. I make my life better every single day because I don't give a fuck about me today. I give a fuck about me tomorrow. And me tomorrow will give a fuck about me the next day, okay? And that is how you stop self-sabotage. Stop giving in to this instant gratification bullshit that's keeping you stuck. You're scrolling on social media, you see all these guys with ripped abs that have sick businesses, they make tons of money, they have tons of women around them, and you wonder, why can't I be in the 1% of men? You wonder, why can't I be that? Well, you're probably not working hard enough. And 
maybe I'll, I'll probably make a video on this after um, this video actually on my way home. But I didn't realize what hard work meant until recently. And hard work means that you delay gratification every single day as much as possible. I have not put in, until the last couple weeks, I had not put in a full day of work that was full delayed gratification all day until recently, until the last couple of weeks. And I'll just say this personally, like I'm not gonna hide it from you. Like I made $10,000 in a month last year, like a, a few times actually, like three or four times. And that was all for my business. And that was from literally like six to seven hours of delayed gratification activity is every day. Like going to the gym, not just working on my business, but like going to the gym, working on my business, showing up on calls for our clients, making content for Facebook. Cause I grew the business originally on Facebook. And like, I did that. That is something I did, you can't take that from me. And it wasn't even a full day of delayed gratification. I was going to bed late, I was going on dates with like random chicks. You know, I was like, I was like hooking up with random girls and stuff. Like I was being a loser still. <laughs> And I was able to do that. And so if I can do that, you can do that. You just have to delay gratification. And the more you can delay gratification, the more you'll stop self-sabotage, the more you'll feel better about yourself, the more you'll respect yourself, you'll feel actual self-love. And I'm gonna give you a couple actionables in this video that'll actually help you love yourself more. So one, I want you to gratitude journal. Write down what you're grateful for. Five things, pause the video. Write down five things you're grateful for, okay? Only the 1% men, only the men that are actually on their way to being 1% winners are gonna do this. Write down one thing you're grateful for, then write down four more, all right? And it can be something as simple, I'm, I'm grateful for this phone that I have. Maybe you got gifted this phone by a friend. I have a screen protector on my phone right now, and it has all these cracks because I drop my phone a lot. Um, just gotta kinda treat it like shit, right? I'm grateful that when I bought this phone, they gave me the screen protector, okay? I'm super grateful for that. Sounds lame as fuck, but I'm grateful for it. When was the last time that, you know, an actual alpha male, an actual winner, will be grateful for small things in his life like that, okay? He's not gonna be like, oh man, this girl doesn't like me, she hasn't texted me back. You know, women don't want a, a whiny little emotional girl that's gonna get upset that the girl doesn't text him back. They don't want that, they want a man that's grounded and grateful for his life, right? Because if we're gonna lead, we need to be grateful. So that's number one. Number two, I want you to Take, list out the top three instant gratification activities that take up the most time in your life, right? These don't have to be the ones that you think are the most fun, but like maybe sc scrolling social media, you don't even think it's that fun, you're just doing it because it gives you that hit of dopamine, right? Take that, replace it with a delayed gratification activity. I'll give you some examples. The gym, um, going up and talking to people, going on long walks, like a 30 minute walk without headphones and without looking at your phone. If you have to leave your phone at home, fine. When you're on these walks, another delayed gratification activity is say hi to people, especially if you're struggling with social anxiety. Make eye contact with people, wave, smile, whatever. Whatever you can do to push yourself. You should be a little uncomfortable. And if you're not already, um, follow Hamza on YouTube as well. Because like, if you're watching this, chances are you know who he is. But Hamza's awesome. You know, He has this quote that's like, Discipline, discipline should be progressively overloaded. And I love that. It's one of the best things ever. And it, it got me to start thinking, men that think in decades are dangerous. And if you progressively overload discipline, if you progressively practice doing things that you don't wanna do, even though, just because they're good for you, just because you don't wanna do them, so you're gonna do them and they're good for you. And they delay gratification. If you start doing that, in a decade, you'll be a fucking winner. You will have, you'll have wins that you don't even think are possible. You know, I have clients that have come in and literally just by participating in delayed gratification versus into uh, versus instant gratification, they started making like an extra 20, 30 k a year. They just got a new job. You know, these are guys that are already successful, already well established. But like, start making an extra 30 grand a year. It's fucking crazy, right? So I want you to go out and put that into practice. Replace those instant gratification activities. Like the video if you liked it. Comment, let me know. What are the like what are the activities you're replacing your instant gratification with? Let me know. And subscribe if you're new. 
see you in the next one. Peace.